All right, good news club guys. You remember we always talked about how I absolutely love Olaf. Well, these are some of my Olafs. Let me, let me explain some of them to you. This one right here, this poor little guy, he has seen better days. This was my very first Olaf. This one right here, William and Miss Lee and Holly, some friends of mine, they painted that for me when I moved into my new house. This one was a birthday gift, Christmas gift. They're everywhere. People know I love Olaf. Uh-oh. I'm missing one. Charlie, we're missing an Olaf. Come here, girl. Come here. We don't want to be missing an Olaf. Will you help me go find Olaf? Come here. Let's go find Olaf. Come here. Will you help me find Olaf? Come here. Where is it? Is it this way, girl? Good job. You found it. You found it. Good job, girl. Good job. Guys, this reminds me of a very important story Jesus told to his disciples. When we get back in here, we are going to read the story of how the shepherd left the one sheep, the 99 sheep, excuse me, to go and find the one. Good job, Charlie. You're a good shepherd. Good job. Here you go. You can have your Olaf. That's her Olaf, too. All right. In Matthew chapter 18, starting with verse 12, it says, If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, what will he do? Won't he leave the 99 others on the hill and go and search for the one that is lost? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth. He will rejoice over it more than the 99 that didn't wander away. In the same way, it is, is it not my heavenly father's will? Even one of these little ones should not perish. Guys, just like the way Charlie got excited over finding this one Olaf, even though there are at least 10 other on here, guys, when we accept Christ as our Savior, our Heavenly Father rejoices probably a hundred times more than Charlie did over that one Olaf. Guys, as we're still social distancing, there's still ways for us to be witnesses to be witnesses to your friends, to be witnesses to your moms and dads. Guys, during this time, be like that shepherd. Look for that one lost sheep that you know that is in your family that needs Jesus. And guys, come here, Charlie. Come here, girl. Come here. She doesn't want to be on camera. So guys, just like every one of these has a special meaning to it. Jesus loves every single one of us. He knows everything about us. He knows where we are at. He knows how we are feeling right now during all of this mass chaos. And all he's saying is, come to me. Come, I will give you rest. I will give you peace. Guys, if you have not accepted Christ as your savior, drop us a line in the comments. We'll reach out to you right where you are at, just like Jesus reaches his hand out. Guys, before we go today, I want to say a prayer. And it's for everybody that is sick, everybody that is hurting, everybody that is struggling. So guys, let's say a prayer. Father, I thank you right now for sending Jesus to find us, that one lost sheep right where we were at. God, I pray that right now, if there is one person that is watching this video that says, I am that one, that he or she will just embrace you and fall into your arms. God, I pray for the sick, the ones that are catching this virus. God, I pray that you will heal them. God, I pray that you will keep everybody safe as we are at home, as schools are not in session, that everybody's needs will be met. We love you and praise that in everything we do may it bring glory and honor to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, we'll see you next week.